I'm back. So uh, the first thing we have to do is uh, get some hearts because, uh, well, we can't have this constant beeping here. Uh, I'm not sure exactly which one. Okay, that'll do. I still need more, dang. Uh, so last time, I believe I got stuck um, and I couldn't really think. But uh, basically the solution was <clears throat> using the slingshot to hit that. Then when you go in here, you fight a little boss and you get the beetle, which is this. I can use it to collect items and such. And what you had to do uh, was you had to use the beetle to go around through that hole and hit that again since the door closes behind you and locks you in. Now, I, uh, I have a key, so I can go through here now. If I can move back and get this. I wonder if this will work. Oh, it might. All right. Now I have now I now I can get through without. Oh shoot. I can get through without worrying about getting hit by that thing. Come on, just a little faster. There you go. But yeah, it's been a while since I uh, made this channel, and uh, I've been working on a uh, Kirby Planet Robobot review which uh, should come out soon, I hope, because I've been writing it, and uh, I don't know, it's just, it, I feel like it's difficult for me to write this uh, sort of thing. I did it for Super Smash Bros. Uh, 3DS, uh, that was like a few years ago. Oh shoot, wow, it's been a while. I have to do it all at once. Okay, it, but that was like a long time ago, so, oh, stop screwing up me. Oh shoot. This'll do it. There we go, just swing the Wii Remote around like a maniac. That's how you, that's how you win. Um, but, uh, what was I saying? Uh, it's kind of hard for me to write in that kind of, uh, mindset, I guess, in a critical mindset. I can, I can speak my critic, I, I can say what I'm thinking about a game, but I just, I just can't write it down. It's, it's awfully strange. But, uh, I'm working through it, and, uh, just be looking out for that review. Uh, personally... Uh, I love the game. I won't go too deep into it because that's what the review is for. But, uh, yeah. Uh, it's been an awful long time since I played this game, since I've mainly been playing it, uh, on my Twitch channel, which I actually haven't used in a while. Uh, I was playing Xenoblade, if you were on my other channel. Uh, but whenever I played, uh, this game, no, whenever I played this game, I always just, I don't know, I just felt bad. I was never in the mood, you know? But, now I just have this newfound motivation. New, what's the word? I guess... I guess I'm just going through the comments of my videos again, seeing how people want this back. Well, it, it just it just encouraged me to do it ag uh, again. So that's why I'm doing this. Oh shoot, this is a... is that a heart piece? Can I... No? How do you get that? 
I wonder. Wait a minute, I have an idea. What if there's a thing all the way up here that you hit? I'm not sure if I have enough flight for that. Oh, there's a thing in there, though. Come on, come on, come on. Hit it. No! So close. Oh. All right, I'll try again. Well, at least I know where it is now. So I just got to keep going up here. And uh, there will be a crystal there. I have played this. This is one of the dungeons I've played before. Awesome. This is uh, one of the dungeons I've pre-played uh, on my other account, or on my other file. Awesome, heart piece. But I still never found out how to get that heart piece. So it's just great uh, knowing. Always explore, always explore, whatever you do in a Zelda game. Even if in this one where everyone says how linear it is, just explore. Because uh, then you'll you'll get rewarded. Let's see. All right, this one's next. Uh, a couple of months ago, um, somebody posted on Reddit uh, about running this game through an emulator and just putting all the settings all the way up. And if you if you uh if you're playing this on an emulator. It, it can be so much more beautiful than this. I mean, it, this still looks pretty great for the Wii, but with all that, like, anti-aliasing. -ali -ali oh, shoot. Can I knock him down? No. I can hit this down, though. Oh, shoot, an amber cave. Come on, buddy. Come on over here. Oh. But what was I saying? All the anti-aliasing, aliasing, uh, the upscaled resolution, which I think the Wii U does, but I'm not entirely sure. Because uh, it, it does look uh, sharp the game and I like that I like the sharp image that the Wii U gives because uh, I've had uh, the Wii was actually one of my earlier consoles that I had and um, I played that a lot and uh, once I moved to the Wii U I just, I, I noticed there was a lot more blur um, when I went back to the Wii. It just didn't make any. Uh, I guess I just never noticed it, you know? Technology improving and such. But, which is actually going really fast. I mean, now we have virtual reality. I have yet to try that out. I actually had the chance when I went to Comic-Con a couple years ago in New York. I actually had the chance to try it out, but I I never had the time to, I guess. Uh, I saw I saw other things like uh, Ace Attorney Trilogy, which was pretty cool. I like that. I saw Monster Hunter 4 stuff, which I'm actually now a huge fan of. I love the Monster Hunter games. What the heck was that? I actually I bought Monster Hunter Generations uh, day re day one release and. Uh, As I was saying, I bought Monster Hunter Generations on uh, day one release, and uh, I played that for a fee. I played that for a good while. Um, still playing it too. I think I, uh, I think I have like 15 hours in the game. When I do play it, I, I can't. I don't have the time to play it for long. Stop falling! As I was saying, when I do play it, I don't have the time to play it for long, but I do have fun when I am able to play it. Come on. Oh. That was close. 
which uh, if you're looking for a, a, an action-packed, I guess, fun game, check out Monster Hunter. Uh, although I must warn, although I must warn you, the game starts out kind of slow because am I not? Am I not losing hearts from falling? Are you... Am I not getting punished for screwing up? Let's, let's see. No! I'm not getting punished! What's that? What's that about? The heck was that, Nintendo? I get it, you make easy games nowadays, but you can't just not punish something that should be punished. I missed again. It doesn't matter because I'm not going to lose hearts. You can't just do that, Nintendo. Why? Why is this game being forgiving? I really hope something like this is uh, not a thing in Breath of the Wild. I really want it to be a difficult experience. I missed again. I would like it to be a difficult but fun experience. Not like a difficulty that is overwhelming. Like Dark Souls a level of difficulty. I want a difficulty that's fun and you know. You still have to be good at the game to play it. But. You can't just suck your way through, like, what I'm doing right now. If I could grab onto this stupid vine. Uh, what was I saying earlier? I was talking about, um... I was talking about Monster Hunter. What I was saying, uh... It does have a slow start, yeah, but that's because it, it more encourages you to strategize rather than just swing at the monster. Because, I mean, let's be honest here, if it just had you do that, the game would get boring. Let's be honest here. Hack and slash games would probably get boring pretty quickly. I know they do for me, because you're just swinging around and not really much difficulty. Uh, Unless you have something like Hyrule Warriors or whatever, the Dynasty Warrior games, where you actually have something to protect and you're constantly having to move around to different areas, then that's okay because, I mean, sure, you're swinging through everything, but at least you have a goal and you're just not mindlessly doing things. I can't get this. I cannot get this. Come on, come on. That's too much to the right. No! I like strategy. I, I like thinking. But, you know, sometimes I could go for a quick, a quick fun game. Which I think, uh, now, don't hate me for this, but I think that's, why the Call of Duty games are popular. That's why I, I play them. I don't play them often. I don't play them like all day. I only play them just like one round. Oh, you know what? I don't really play them that much anymore because of Splatoon. I just... Please don't subscribe because you want good playing right now I'm just sucking miserably I can't grab onto this stupid vine okay all right this time we're gonna focus on this yes I made it it only took me what five minutes I cannot screw this up I could have actually gone to uh, grab that on there. Oh, speaking of Breath of the Wild, uh, I, that I haven't talked about for half of the episode. Speaking of it, I actually got Twilight Princess HD uh, for the Zelda timeline playthrough. 
so for this and uh you know um if you don't know what the wolf link amiibo does because it came with that if you don't know what it does basically in uh twilight princess hd it um unlocks a thing called the cave of shadows which is basically the cave of ordeals except with a wolf link uh, you, you have to be wolf link the entire time and then when you put that when you scan the amiibo in uh, breath of the wild you get the wolf link companion which looks pretty awesome i wonder if there are going to be more companions it, oh no oh no There we go. Okay. I got worried there. I wonder if there are going to be more companions in the game. Uh, that'd be pretty interesting, actually. Not just your standard Navi or Fee or Midna companion. Although I do like uh, Midna's character. Not your standard uh, companion like that, but actually one that helps you. Not just by freaking detargeting and such. Alright, there you are, Gearyheem. So that's it for this episode. In the next episode, uh, we're going to have a fight with Gearyheem. See ya.